When I was at school we had the choice in the third year of taking an extra subject at O-level. Um, I think the choice was something like biology, German, Russian and might have been Spanish, something like that. Um, and as sort of by then I decided I was going down the science route, my immediate inclination was to do biology. I wasn't particularly interested in biology at that time, but I was doing chemistry and physics and math, so it seemed logical to do biology as well. Um, but the head actually said no. He said, if you want to be a physicist, I think you should do Russian, which came as a bit of a shock. His, he was himself a scientist, so he wasn't sort of biased in his argument. But essentially he was saying that that German had been the second technical language up until now but all sorts of things were happening there was the space race going on and the, you know the Soviet Union was really very powerful and he felt that Russian was going to be the next great technical language and so he said I think you know if you do that I think that could be really useful to you and so I was persuaded to do Russian um, which of course is a very, very different language from, from any other. It has a certain curiosity value. Um, and I, in a funny sort of way, it's, it's come in. I can't pretend I've ever been given uh, you know, a detailed scientific paper to read in Russian or anything like that, but it, it helped me in a number of ways. It helped me, funnily enough, get into Oxford. Because at the interview, my tutor, who himself was a Russian speaker, I didn't know that at the time, was very interested to talk to me about what I'd done in Russian. And occasionally people come to me and say, look, I've got this thing in Russian, I have no idea what it means. Do you know? And I said, well, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. So it has been helpful in that way. Of course, events have moved on. Probably nowadays, if I was in that situation, my headmaster would be advising me to do Chinese.